-hmm. right below those, we have changed the way that we're laying out prices. We no longer have a minimum, a median, and a maximum product price. We've now chunked this up into price ranges. And so we've got your bargain price range, your mid-range price range, and your premium price range shown in the highlight section. Yeah, this is I really like this. This is a lot more useful than just seeing the minimum and the maximum because those are just your extreme values. What you really need is to know how the shopper is going to be comparing these and understanding what's presented to them, right? So really in its, you know, simplest terms, products are always going to fall into this, you know, this bargain zone, kind of a mid-range average zone, and then a premium price zone. You can think of that way with you know, cell phones, computers, cars, whatever it is, water, right? You're going to have, you know, the off brand, kind of that middle brand. And then you've got like, you know, your Fiji water or whatever, right? And each one of them has a shopper. All those companies are around. So they have a customer forum. And this just helps you identify when a shopper is searching this keyword, what are they seeing in terms of these? Are there a lot of bargain price? What is the bargain price? All right, you know, what is the mid-range price? What is the premium price? If I'm planning on pricing at $20, where does that put me? Does that put me in the top of the premium price? Is that where I think I should be? Or maybe, you know, I'm underpricing and I think I have a premium product, but according to this range, I'm actually in the bargain price, you know, and we've talked about before, uh, positioning with price does play a part.